Greetings, Elder Black Light, Black Attack, Satan versus Satan. Actual facts, worldview, analysis. Check this out. It would be really great if we could be covered fairly by the media. The media is the biggest problem we have as far as I'm concerned. Single biggest problem. The fake news and the big tech. Big tech is now coming into their own. We beat them four years ago. We surprised them. We took them by surprise. And this year, they rigged an election. They rigged it like they've never rigged an election. It begins to make its case. The committee showed graphic video of the violence and chaos as a mob stormed the Capitol. Much of it never seen before by the public. We also saw testimony from former President Trump's inner circle, including his daughter Ivanka and her husband Jared. Two bombshell evidence that adds to suspicions that U.S. President Joe Biden is the real crook here. Biden claimed he never ever discussed business dealings with his shady son Hunter Biden. Never discussed that his son trade on Joe's position when he was vice president. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. But now a former business partner and friend of Hunter says that's false and he will give evidence to the Congressional Committee. He is Devin Archer, that's him on the left with Biden, and said he was there when Hunter got his dad on the phone to talk to his then boss, the head of a Ukrainian gas company, Burisma. Now Burisma back then was being investigated by a prosecutor for corruption and was paying Hunter a million dollars a year US to be on its board, despite his lack of experience. And no wonder his father, Joe's vice president, was in charge of US Ukrainian policy. In fact, Joe flew to Ukraine and demanded that this prosecutor be fired, supposedly for being inefficient. Uh, Biden even boasted about it. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion, I'm going to be leaving here. I think it was, what, six hours? I looked at it and said, we're leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, <laughs> got fired. It is an honor to be here with our entire Democratic caucus, with our chairman, Pete Aguilar, and our nominee for Speaker of the House, Hakeem Jeffries. So what we're witnessing is that we have had nine months since January of chaos and two weeks of absolute paralysis. No, I'm laying, I'm laying it out for you. In living color, how you're being tricked. See, tricks are for, are for kids. And that's what they think the average black man is, a child. You can be easily fooled. They're playing the general public like a violin, a fine-tuned violin, and y'all can't see it. First, Trump said fake media. Well, how you know on October the 7th that that wasn't fake? Because every time they get caught in a trick bag, they try to pull a rabbit out the hat. And it could have been staged because, well, let's go to point two. Point two. Biden's son, got hand got caught in the cookie jar. So now we got January the 6th, Trump being prosecuted and persecuted because the whole justice system is rigged. So black people, you know, knowing how this has been rigged against them, feeling a little sympathetic by I mean for uh, Trump. So 
Trump, you know, they're trying to get him to run out of money and get him ousted because they don't want Trump to be uh, president. But black folks don't want him to be president either because they think Biden is on their side. You know? But if you study the history of Joe Biden, you'll see, you know, his hypocrisy concerning black people. You know? So, all the Capitol Hill is in on You know? On beating you out your your money, your time, your energy. So they don't choose a brother for Biden, you know, for speaker. They done ran out of money. Inflation is through the scatty line by the day. It, it's, it's reciting. Inflation is through the sky. You know, Ukraine. Must be got some ties to, to Israel. I mean, they say Democrats accuse uh, Trump of Russian collusion. So this country was founded on corruption, and it seems like. My people, black people, you know, seeing like they, they even forgot about it, corruption. They was the main ones that was being played on. You know, man, the Indians. There's a movie out called uh, Killers of the Flower Moon with Robert De Niro. And uh, talking about the Indians, I think in Oklahoma, owning oil wells. And so they start murdering the Indians off. You know, I think it's based on a true story. I'm not for sure about that. But it's mighty funny, getting back to fake media, that... Uh, and mass, and mass, you know, I got to change the spelling on that. I'm spelling it hummus, H-U-M-A-U-S. I got to change it, H-A-M-A-S. How would they come and shoot up all them people, take hostages and take them? <laughs> That's like me, and take them home with them. That's like me, and get, get off, get off my family killed. That's like me, uh, Going next door, shooting up everybody, and then taking the hostages home to my house and putting them in the basement. And then they come in and retaliate and kill up all my family. That don't sound right. All oh, this a, a ploy. You know, it's a ploy because the White House is falling. The USA is falling. They're getting their backs up against the wall. Tugging on your emotions. And the black man is right caught up in the middle. Just like he was caught up in the middle with the Civil War. Some of us went on the, the Yankee side. Some of us went on the Southern side. The rebel side. We end up shooting at each other. So, man. We're going to talk about this in the next one. On Black Light. Trying to do it right with the flavor to save you and the kind of knowledge you won't get in college. Salam alaikum.